So the Telangana government launched a LRS scheme. LRS scheme means Layout Regularization Scheme 2020, which regularizes the illegal and unauthorized plots that are available. Now, what are illegal or unauthorized plots which doesn't have the stamp of the government? Now, what plots don't uh, attract LRS? They are also given by the government in the GO. I'll just summarize it. If the property is in court litigation and if there is a direction from the court not to register, then those plots will not attract LRS. Point one. If you purchase a property and now suddenly this scheme was launched, you did not yet exclude the registration, then there will be no document in your name. Then also LRS will not be applicable to the purchaser. LRS must be done by the seller. Now, if you purchased plot near to airport, near to military, near to defense lands, near to lands where oil and gas pipelines are there, okay, near to outer ring road, then LRS scheme will not be applicable to you. And if your plot is near to water bodies, like canals, rivers, GO triple one, that is a catchment uh, area uh, GO um, where special restrictions are there up to uh, 10 kilometers uh, for those Man Sagar and Mayat Sagar. There also, this uh, scheme doesn't apply. Plots in that area also, this scheme doesn't apply. Lands adjacent to rivers, lands adjacent to lakes, lands adjacent to Kuntas, Nalas. Okay. So, land, water, and air. Airports, land near to airport also will not uh, come under this scheme. So, remember this land, water, air, and court cases, purchasing. Purchasers who purchased when this scheme was launched intermittently and government lands, especially government lands. So generally, if government has any interest in any particular land, government prohibits the registration and keeps it in prohibitory register. Then also LRS will not apply to those lands. What are those lands? Temple lands, work board lands, Shikam lands, that is full tank level, uh, land between the full tank level and the regular tank level lands, uh, sealing lands, urban land sealing, uh, agricultural land sealing lands, and government lands. All these lands where government has any interest or government uh, already issued uh, an order directing the sub register not to register these lands, which are clearly entered in the prohibitory register, then also LRS scheme doesn't attract these plots. Okay. And my suggestion is whether they attract or not, I request everybody to pay 1000 rupees and participate in the scheme. Because tomorrow, government wants to invite you into the scheme. If you don't pay 1000 rupees, you will not have the opportunity to come into the scheme. And one more thing, if your plot is in zonal regulations also, like special economic zone, manufacturing zone, industrial zone, as per the master plan, even then, LRS will not be applicable to you. But nevertheless, I request everybody to participate in this scheme by paying 1000 rupees, which is nothing. And take a chance. Let them reject. But you don't reject. Is my advice, legal advice. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching. If you have any doubts, kindly comment.